welcome to my channel mk medical lectures learning with artworks like drawing and calligraphy in this video lecture we will briefly overview the divisions of the nervous system well the nervous system is the control center of our body and regulates all the functions whether voluntary or involuntary the nervous system is basically divided into two anatomical divisions the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system the central nervous system is composed of the brain and the skull and spinal cord present in the vertebral column and is formed by neurons and supporting cells called neuroglia the control center and a major part of the nervous system is the brain. The brain is composed of about 100 billion of multipolar neurons. And with this, the brain is further divided into three sections, the forebrain, the midbrain, and the hindbrain. By going into more brief detail on the brain, in the nervous system but before remember that we will not go into the very basics but rather we will just focus on the main anatomical divisions of the nervous system so the pore brain is otherwise known as prosencephalon and is further divided into two parts the telencephalon and the diencephalon for this, here I am drawing the mid-sigital section of the brain to understand the individual parts of the brain and their locations. The telencephalon includes the two cerebral hemispheres. Here it is the right cerebral hemisphere and the right and the left cerebral hemispheres are interconnected with each other through the corpus callosum. Then, the diencephalon, consisting of the thalamus, hypothalamus, pineal gland, and the posterior pituitary gland majorly. In these, each cerebral hemisphere is further divided into different lobes. For this, I am drawing the lateral or the side view of the brain. These lobes are formed due to shallow grooves which are called sulcus and separate these lobes from one another and these are named after its presence behind or underneath the bones of the skull which covers them. It is a side view of the cerebrum. In this lobe is called the frontal lobe and is posterior to the frontal bone. In this lobe is called the parietal lobe and this is the temporal lobe present underneath the temporal bone. In this lobe is called the occipital lobe because of the occipital bone. After this we have the midbrain which is the second part of the brain which is also known as the mesencephalon and it is located between the pore and the hind brain. And with this, the last part means the hind brain, which is also known as rhombencephalon, consisting of parts like pons, cerebellum, and medulla oblongata. Furthermore, the midbrain, pons, and medulla oblongata are together called the brain stem. The second part of the central nervous system is the spinal cord, which is a continuation of the brain and the brain stem, and ends at the L1, L2 vertebral level. The narrow tapering cord at this termination is called the conus medullaris. The neural fibers continue in the vertebral canal is the cauda equina. 
a structure that resembles a horse's tail. The spinal cord is attached to the coccyx by an extension of the pia meter called the phylum terminale. The second main division of the nervous system is the peripheral nervous system, which includes neurons located outside the brain in the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system is subdivided into afferent division or sensory division and the efferent division or motor division. Let's focus on the sensory division first. The sensory division is for sensing things such as touch and sight for example. The sensory division is composed of neurons that carry information from the periphery, mean from the sensing organs to the central nervous system, as I'm drawing it here, for example. The efferent division or motor division is composed of neurons that carry signals away from the brain and the spinal cord to the peripheral tissues. While here, the motor or efferent division of the peripheral nervous system is further divided into two major functional divisions, the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. The somatic nervous system is composed of those efferent neurons that innervate the skeletal muscles of our body and thus it is involved in the control of voluntary functions. In contrast to it, we have the autonomic nervous system that regulates the involuntary bodily functions without the conscious participation of our mind, mean it controls functions of our body on which we don't have control over. This system is also known as the visceral, vegetative or involuntary nervous system. Because of the involuntary nature of the autonomic nervous system as well as its functions. Meanwhile, the autonomic nervous system is further subdivided into the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. The innervation of an organ by both divisions occurs mostly by two nerves. The first nerve that brings information from the CNS and transfers it to the second nerve is called the preganglionic nerve. And it is myelinated, while the second nerve that ends in an organ or the target tissue is called the postganglionic nerve, which is unmyelinated, mean it doesn't have the myelin sheath, is on drawing it here. These two divisions are involuntary, but these are completely opposite to each other. For example, the sympathetic nervous system increases the heart rate and dilates the pupil of the eye once stimulated. On the other hand, the parasympathetic or PNS cause slowing down the heart rate and constricting the eye people. Moreover, the sympathetic nervous system is more active during extreme situations or unexpected or in dangerous conditions like when we are facing a threat or running like from a dog or simply doing exercise for example and thus, it is called the fight or flight response. On the opposite side, the PNS is more active during, like when we are eating and resting, and thus, it is sometimes referred to as the rest and digest response. So, 
it was all about the general overview of the divisions of the nervous system we will try to make comprehensive videos on each part of the nervous system but if you liked our video please subscribe and comment about it and at last thanks for watching